You will need a sewing machine, sewing notions, ruler, hot glue gun and glue stick, clear plastic vinyl, light brown plastic vinyl, white vinyl or whatever color you would like your frosting to be, size 14 or 16 sewing needle, strong thread, matte invisible tape for your sewing foot or you can use a walking foot, a 6 inch zipper, painter's tape, clips or closed bobby pins, and optionally multi-surface fabric paint. So a couple of notes before we start, you can use a walking foot to sew this or you can just take your regular foot and put the matte invisible tape onto it. And then of course cut away the opening. And my other note is that you should avoid this fabric. This fabric is not good for this project. This is more like an apparel vinyl. Anything that has this kind of white fabric-y fuzzy side to it, just avoid that for this project. Trust me, I'm looking out for you. <laughs> for your pattern, you will cut out a circle with a diameter of nine inches and then you'll cut out another circle in the middle with a diameter of two inches. For your frosting, you will create the same circle, but then go back in and cut out a light wavy edge. With your light brown vinyl, you will cut out two of those circles. And then with your white vinyl or whatever color you want your frosting to be, you'll cut out one frosting piece. Then you'll cut out two square or rectangle pieces out of your clear plastic vinyl. You want them to be big enough to fit over the hole, have plenty of space on the outside to sew around. This is the size of your donut, flip it over, grab your clear plastic vinyl piece, put just a little bit of dab of hot glue in each corner, then lay it over the hole and repeat this on the other piece. After your hot glue is cooled, you're gonna sew around these circles, probably with about a one eighth of an inch seam. Also, it might be easier for you to sew it face down or face up. It just depends on your sewing machine. For me, it's easier for me to sew these face down. The stitching on this one is kind of sloppy, so I'm gonna let this be the back of my bag that doesn't have frosting on it. And this will be the front, and you won't be able to see the messy part because the frosting will go on top of it. To keep the frosting in place while I sew it, I like to put some hot glue down. And make sure you stay away from the center so you don't sew through the hot glue. Also don't want to go too far out on the edge because you'll be sewing the edge down as well. Place it on, let it dry. I like to sew the center down first, and then I'll go in and sew the outline. For sewing this, I suggest using thread that matches your frosting and it doesn't have to be heavy duty. Just use the heavy duty for the construction of the bag. Here's my frosting sewn down. Now taking the back portion of your donut, you're gonna flip that over and then decide where you would like your zipper and then mark six inches. After you do that initial mark, you're gonna make another mark that is one fourth inch away from that. Then you're gonna box these two lines in, making sure that it just measures six inches, and then you're gonna cut this little skinny rectangle out. Take your zipper and place it face down in that little hole. Then to keep your zipper in place, you're going to just tape it down on one of the long sides and both of the ends just to keep it in place. First you'll sew the not taped down edge, remove your tape, and then sew around this short edge, around the long edge, and around this short edge. So now we're going to take the front piece and the back piece and put them together, wrong sides together. So you can use clips or closed hairpins like I'm just showing you right here. Sew around your donut twice the first time using a 1 4th seam allowance and the second time using a 1 8th seam allowance. Now your clutch is almost complete, but if you lay it flat, you can see there's just a little bit of white peeking out here and there. So you wanna just go in and trim that down and then flip it over and see if you see any white peeking out on the other side and trim that as well. Now that I've cleaned up my edges, I can go in and actually paint these edges or you could just leave it as is. I suggest using a small paintbrush or a Q-tip so you don't get it on the front or the back of your clutch. 
If you're gonna paint your frosting like I am, you're gonna take your painter's tape and kind of lift the edge a little bit and just tuck it in under there and kind of do that all the way around the edge. For the center, I laid a few pieces of tape down, traced out the center circle, cut it out. Now I can just lay that right in the center to protect the center from paint. Here are my finished donuts. I used three-dimensional paint to just kind of do this drizzle on this one and sprinkles on this one. You don't have to do that. I think it still looks like a donut with just plain frosting. All right, till next time, bye.